A member of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly, Imkong L. Imchin, has said that constitutional provision of Article 371 Clause A has become redundant. This is even more so for Clause 4, ownership and transfer of land and its resources. The Advisor for Information and Public Relations and Soil and Water Conservation gave a press conference in Kohima on May 5. He is without any measure of hesitation to say that the very constitutional provision of Article 371 Clause A, more particularly Clause 4, has become redundant. Imchin said the Nagaland Legislative Assembly passed a resolution on July 26, 2010 to the effect that laws made by Parliament on petroleum and natural gas would be inapplicable in the state of Nagaland with retrospective effect. This was after obtaining that the opinion of legal luminaries in the 1980s, all of whom concurred that land and its resources as used in Article 371 Clause A Clause 4 Clause 4 includes mines and minerals, he stated. However, this legislative initiative was extinguished by the Government of India. Ministry of Home Affairs in its office memorandum stated May 23, 2023, stating that the Union Ministry is of the considered view that Article 371A Clause A does not confer legislative power to the Legislative Assembly of Nagaland on regulation of and development of mineral oil. The power to make law in respect of subject covered under List 1 of the 7th Schedule of the Constitution, including Entry 53 of List 1, rests with the Parliament. Therefore, the resolution passed by the Nagaland Assembly in July 2010 is unconstitutional and invalid. The advisor said it was saddening that the unilateral office memorandum in the form of order is erroneous. It is nowhere seen on the records that the Mines and Minerals Regulation and Development Act 1957 has been approved by the Assembly as an applicable statutory law in the state from the date of statehood till date, Imjin said. I'm constrained to forward my considered individual views and understanding as we talk and think about the support of Article 371A, uh, which was uh, inserted in the part 21 of the Constitution of India by the Constitution of the Amendment, that is 62. Yet, as of today, in the light of my understanding as an active participant in the political affairs of the state, I am without any reason of hesitation in unequivocal the term, say that the very constitutional provisions of Article 371 A, more particularly Clause 4, has become absolute factor with use and therefore simply return. We are all aware that the history of the Naga struggle for political emancipation, we find that we do or die for a suffering independent Naga only from the changes of the land road and control was seriously stirred in early 50s when the Naga took voluntary plebiscite on May 16, 1951 under the spearhead of the National Council. During those decisive and turbulent times, the understanding of the Nakas was, I could. Nakas are not Indians, and Nakaland is not Indian territory. The Nakas are not demanding independence from India, and the Nakas are not the triangle secede from India. The case of Nakaland is a case of Impression. It is one. Is it is one. Therefore, uh, he has positive pressure on India, and the reply was this one. When he was the preparer of Mali, himself was a eminent lawyer. At that point of time, it is a private plan. And therefore, uh, he literally went by the constitutional spirit, uh, saying that. Uh, the state doesn't have the mandatory legislative power to make those under uh, unit lists. 